up vacations and now it's time to comply with Amy. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy and I am a professional traveler as well as a travel agent. I do live in the central Florida area and I just bought a house in Davenport. I'm in my house. Um, which is crazy. So this vlog is going to be a compilation of our moving journey. We are moving from Apopka, Florida down to Davenport. Um, it's about 30 minutes south or so. Um, so I want to update you today on the house progress. We have gotten a ton of work done. So I'm so excited to show you the changes so far. And then the next couple of clips will be the chaos of moving. So let's take a look at the updated house. All right, so the first update that we did, obviously disregard the vacuum and stool. So we got this living room painted. Um, if you'll remember, this used to be the blue wall, no longer blue, it is a beautiful, it's called like a mauve color. And then we got the walls painted this um, gray, it's a gray color, I know sometimes video picks up weird. And then we got the ceiling painted white, so there you can see the contrast between the gray and the white. I'll be honest with you, this was such a major change. It makes it look like a brand new house, which is pretty wild. So here you can see the color contrast on the accent wall pretty well. And then the island there also got the accent wall color. So 10 out of 10, this makes it look like a totally new room. I mean, look at that color palette. I'm so excited to bring furniture in here. And then we had some leftover paint. So Corey decided to paint this wall in our master bedroom, the accent wall. So that's the same color as the gray in the living room. Um, so here you can kind of see the color contrast. That accent wall looks amazing. And then the last painting effort that we did is here in my office. This was just kind of a, we had some time, so we did it. Um, Corey so kindly painted my accent wall. I know again, the color is kind of hard to see on here, but it's like a pink. Um, it was called Dusty Rose, so you can kind of see the color contrast there. It's a beautiful tint of pink, just real subtle, but um, this will be my office. So yay, yay, we're painted. And then the last update I have for you, I guess I should have showed that earlier because I was in that room, is we are in the process of getting the yard sodded. So I will say it looks worse right now, but they're killing the grass. They're gonna tear it up and then they're gonna sod for us. So we're just waiting on the sod to get here and then that will be done as well. So super excited about all those updates. I'm back. Hi. Um, it is currently date wise from a timeline perspective, April 20th. We are moving on Saturday. Officially all of our stuff will be gone and into the house, which will be April 22nd. I wanted to kind of give you an update on the move. So I'm going to turn the camera around in just a moment and show you the status. So we're kind of in between things you'll notice. The house is a little bit of a mess. You know how it is with moving, right? You're like in the midst of packing and it's just, it is what it is, right? So we're at that stage, it is what it is. Um, so let me turn y'all around and kind of show you our progress. And then on Saturday, I'm super pumped to show you the film of the chaos at the new house. So let's take a look. All right, do not judge me by the state of my house. Truce, okay. So state of the house, obviously just kind of stuff everywhere. Um, shout out to Make-A-Wish. If you want to get involved with Make-A-Wish and you don't know how, let me know, drop a comment. I will connect you because it's the best organization I've ever volunteered with. So, not, you know, not too bad at first. Um, we are cleaned out of like the bathroom. Like this has been moved out already. Um, closets are kind of getting their thing done. This is what we call our staging room. Every time we move, we always break down the guest bed first and this becomes like just this is where we move everything to. Still working out of my little office there, although it's looking more cluttered by the day. Out here, we're basically down to like the bare minimums in the living room, really not much to be said here. The bedroom, again, kind of same story. Um, mostly everything's gone, everything's gone off the walls. Most of the drawers are cleaned. Um, and then we are, mostly done in the bathroom. I know it doesn't look very done, but obviously we're still living here. So um, my closet is, I'm gonna say like almost done. Like that all used to be filled up. So um, there we are. And then the next video clip you'll see is I'm sure from 
um, Saturday, which will be the chaos of moving. Hi everyone, update on the move. So I am in a very echoey apartment, can you tell? Um, so we are moved out of the apartment. The stuff is already heading over to our new house and I'm gonna show you a quick little film of our empty apartment. And then the next clip you'll see is the chaos of the new house. So let's take a look. All right, and here is our apartment. All clean. You know, while I'm showing videos and filming, um, I'll talk about cleaning apartments before move out. So I think we've all been in that situation where maybe we've gotten charged for something. I know in my previous apartment moves, um, I have gotten charged periodically just for like dumb things that like you don't think about. But as you can see, we left this apartment spotless. Um, so I feel like we're a really good move out at this point. So here's our empty patio, everything swept clean. So I feel like we did a really nice job. I feel like I've been cleaning for days, even though I guess it really hasn't been that long. Um, but you can see everything looks nice. It smells very clean in here. Probably scrubbed it right I know. Crazy. Um, but yeah, I guess reflecting upon, we've been in this apartment for 18 months. It went fast, I'll say that much. Sorry, my a little shaky, I'm, I, my gimbal is at the new house. Um, but yeah, I would say that it's been a good 18 months here at this apartment complex. Um, I will say while we're walking through here, honest opinion, um, be cautious of the apartment complexes in Florida. Um, some states that we have lived in, example, New Jersey, requires a lot of um, income checks, a lot of background checks to move into an apartment. We found that in Florida, they were very relaxed on all of that. So you didn't really have to show any of that. So just take it for what it's worth. Um, just be cautious on where the area you're moving in um, and whatnot. We truthfully, we hated this apartment complex. It's called the Pointed Eat Shore. Um, I would not recommend it to anybody. Um, reason being is just terrible mismanagement, although I will say it does seem like they got new management, which does seem better, but um, we lived in this place for about, gosh, six months, and the gates were broken. And that's crazy because you pay for, you know, a gated community, <coughs> excuse me. Um, other issues that we had were just, you know, um, the walls aren't really built that great, so a lot of noise. Um, it was really just the management piece, to be honest with you all. Um, so don't move to the point of East Shore in Apopka. Um, I liked the unit, but I didn't like the complex at all. All right, and there we are. There's goodbye apartment. Hi, everyone. I am back, and we are in our brand new house. We did all the moving today, so I'm gonna flip you all around in just a second to show you kind of our progress as to where we are. Note that our stuff got dropped off. We were done with the movers about 2 p.m., so what you see is obviously chaos, and it's gonna be like that for a little bit, but remember, it's now, I don't know, it's like nine o'clock tonight. So within a couple hours, we've actually gotten quite a bit set up. So I'm excited to show you the progress and kind of where we're going with things. All right, so I'm not gonna turn on every light cause it's exhausting and my feet are killing me, but I'll still kind of show you kind of where we are. So this will be my office. I don't even know how to work the light. I'll figure out the light later. Well, believe me when I say it's my office. <laughs> the guest bath now looks like this. So we're excited about that. Um, this is the guest bedroom. Again, I don't know how to work the lights. You can kind of see a little bit there. We'll work on that. Um, stuff is kind of everywhere, but that is to be expected. Um, we are just kind of using this extra room. We're calling this the movie room because at some point I think it will become a movie theater. Um, as you can see, just chaos is what it is. You know how it is when you're moving. And then we do have the kitchen. I will say we really didn't get much progress. It looks so bad. Um, you just know the woes of moving. So basically we have what we need set up, um, all the boxes ever right here. We do have our patio set up though. Priorities. 
me show you. Oops, it's locked up. So you'll see that was a priority today. So we actually ordered more furniture, so we're pumped about that. And then, hello husband, how are you feeling about moving? I'm good. <laughs> He's over it, clearly. <laughs> so we do have our furniture set up. We do have TV set up, that's exciting. Um, we did actually get a ton done in the bedroom today because obviously that's, you know, a priority in life is just to have somewhere to sleep, but it looks just like our old place did, so that's exciting. Got some of the bathroom set up, at least from a functionality perspective, so um, things look the way they should, um, so we're excited about that. Here's the linen closet kind of coming along. We got some storage units for down there, so in future videos you'll see additional stuff. I uh, know we have so much clothing. You don't realize until you put it in, but it's actually pretty well organized. You'll see I took up most of it, but beyond that, you know, um, we're working on some of those other things, but I want to show off my wedding dress. I got it preserved. I feel like a lot of ladies ask for, you know, who does their preservation. So I did it through David's bridal and it was amazing and so quick and it has this nice little display. So there's our update. Hopefully next time I update you all, we'll be way more settled in. Hi everyone, I am back. Today's date is May 3rd and I'm gonna show you a quick house update to show you how our moving process is going. We moved in on April 22nd, so it's a little bit after that, about a week and a half, and you'll see how much progress we made. So let me turn you all around and show you what the house looks like. All right, so here is the update. So as you can see, we are fully moved in on the closet. Yes, I feel like we have a lot of clothing, but I like to shop, so it is what it is. Our little commode room, we like that area. Our linen closet is fully populated with towels and all kinds of um, body products. We did get a little shoe rack down here. We're gonna add another one. So here's our vanity, all the storage. Okay, and we do have, this is the master bedroom. We are like just about complete really other than maybe a little bit more storage and figuring out where to put that little reefy thing. Um, but everything is done in here. Our living room I would say is about 90% of the way done. Maybe just another little end table in that corner because it's a little bit bare. Dining room, non-existent, yes, big box. Um, so we are gonna get a dining room table here. We just have this down. I think we're gonna get rid of it, but TBD on that. We did, this is a new update. Well, I could you do updates first. Um, so we got the lawn done. So we did get that sodded. So that looks so nice. So we still can't walk on it just cause it's still fresh. But as you can see, it's starting to grow in. That deadness will be gone in a little bit. And then, just a couple days ago, we got our patio furniture delivered. So this new little love seat, that is new. And then this table is new as well. These guys were existing. So still kind of figuring out what to do with the rest of the area, but we love this little area and space. Continuing on through the kitchen, I would say the kitchen's probably about 90% of the way there. Obviously just a little bit of organizational things we gotta do, but for the most part, we are all moved in to the kitchen and then this is where things get incomplete right so <laughs> we are basically all set with the laundry room I got that little shelf in I think down the road we'd probably like to get maybe some shelving or something because there really is nowhere to store anything in here so that's that this is what we're calling the movie room at some point in time obviously this is kind of just storage area right so we got to work on this room clearly so but we're hoping to do movie theater at some point um as funds allow over here this closet we have turned into um the cleaning and storage which is nice and organized we love that and then two more things Okay, we have the guest bedroom. We are gonna finish this up tonight, so this whole little setup here will be updated, but we do have the bed set up. Um, I mean, it's basically livable, minus those two boxes and the vanity, so um, we're gonna work on finishing that tonight. The guest bathroom is complete. So we love that, looks so good in here. 
And then the last but not least, <laughs> we do have my office. <laughs> Please bear with me, my office looks a little silly right now. So here's the full office and all that's in here is this little desk that is like jam packed. So the vision will be a corner desk kind of going right there. Obviously not there yet. So we're just going to work with what we got. So right now, currently a very full desk. So that is the update. Hopefully um, on this video, probably what I'll do is add on one more clip couple weeks from now just to kind of summarize more stuff will be done so i'll add on one more clip to here and then there's our house Hi everyone before i um finish up this vlog i just want to give one more house update we are as moved in as i think we're going to be until um we buy more furniture so um guest bath i think looks about the same from the last time you all saw it we do have our guest bedroom like this is like done done we just gotta hang some pictures on the walls um but done done um the biggest room that we need to work on in the coming uh, months we'll call it is what we're calling the movie room we organized it in here so less boxes um but obviously we need to buy furniture to be in here <clears throat> we are done done I think this is about the same too, about done done with the living room kitchen area. We did purchase um, an additional love seat, which this area I think looks better than it did. So um, update there. We did get a ceiling fan too. And then I think the bedroom looks about the same as it was. Um, obviously we're in the midst of doing sheets <laughs> and I think the bathroom was about the same. So um, all the knobs, <laughs> there we go. Um, so that's, the moving updates. And there was the conclusion of our moving vlog. So I just wanna update you on a few things before I like fully wrap out this video. Um, so I hope you enjoyed some of the process. I know not everyone's interested in moving, but I hope that um, I showed you some things maybe you learned or got some ideas from us. I mean, first time home buyers, so I, we don't know everything for sure. We barely knew what we were doing. So um, take it for what it's worth. But what I do want to share is a little bit of feedback about the apartment complex that we moved out of. It is called the Point at East Shore, um, located in Apopka, Florida. I know I showed you kind of us wrapping that apartment up and I showed you it clean. Um, so just quick story about what had happened. Um, very dramatic and for reference, between me and my husband, we probably lived in 12 apartments in our life. So like this is not our first apartment. Um, so when we did the move out, obviously the complex comes and inspects to make sure there's no damage before you turn in the keys. We did the walkthrough. They said it was beautiful. It was immaculate, perfectly clean, but that we, they were requiring a mandatory carpet cleaning, which to me, this is news. I've never, ever, ever paid for a carpet cleaning upon move out, especially we don't have pets and we don't smoke. Never heard of that. So um, we questioned that and turns out that this apartment complex is getting quotes from carpet cleaners and we don't know if the work was completed or not. Um, so yes, fishy. And then they are charging and pulling that out of deposits of residents who move out. So we don't think this is normal. This does not sound normal, especially because there's no clear verbiage in the lease about mandatory carpet cleanings unless you smoke or you have pets, which I understand. Um, these carpets were brand new. We only resided in the apartment for 18 months. And I can tell you there was not a stain on that carpet. They look almost brand new. Um, so that was a little off-putting. Um, in more conversations and arguments, um, we found out that their bookkeeping was um, not well done so there was a lot of um missed charges and or um you know the ledger just it was not clean it did not make sense um and then to cap everything off they claimed we did not pay our deposit um i do have verification of our deposit um i do have reference of the cashier's check and i do have reference and proof that it was cashed by said complex so they were then trying to claim that we did not pay our deposit. So again, that was a little bit of an argument as well. We did get legal advice and whatnot. So um, luckily the complex, the point at East Shore, luckily they just kind of, you know, tucked their tail behind their legs and we did get our full deposit back. Um, we were not charged for a carpet cleaning, but 
be warned. Be warned if you are looking in the central Orlando, Florida area, um, do not move to this complex. Uh, I don't think that they are doing some things that are even legal. Um, I do think there's a lot of fishy stuff going on over there. Um, this apartment complex is owned by RK Properties, which is a national um, chain of apartment complexes, so be sure to Google them. Um, so I would just be very warned um, if you are moving into either this complex looking at it or any of their sister properties because lots of fishy stuff is happening with them. Anyways, um, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed my story. Um, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. If you liked my video or like what I'm doing, um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I do post so many travel vlogs of just where I am, what I'm doing. Um, if you're looking for a vacation quote and you want to travel and you want some help, let me know. I am a travel agent, so I'd love to help you with that. I am complimentary to use. And until next time, hopefully not a next move. Happy travels. Bye.